Walter is in Huntington, West Virginia. Hey, Walter, Leo Laporte. Hi, Leo. Good to speak to you again. Good to talk to you. What's up? Uh, well, I downloaded Google Chrome onto my Windows 7 PC, and I noticed that there's a new icon on the, on the desktop called Launch System Healer. And I looked it up, and it says it's unwanted malware. <clears throat> oh, man. So I don't know how I did this, but anyway, is there some way to get rid of it? Let me just look it up because I'm not familiar with it and see what category of malware it is. It could be uh, a browser hijacker object or BHO, for instance, and those are fairly easy to remove and can be removed with some success. Huh. But then there's some malware that really puts its hooks into your system and can't be reasonably removed. So huh. uh, they're calling it a pup. <laughs> yes, yeah. A pup. Um, and the problem is you can go to these websites and every one of them say, oh, yeah, yeah, we can get rid of it. But yeah. um, I'm not sure I would trust that. Okay. Pup is, is not exactly a malware. It's not exactly adware. It's, it's, a, it's a new acronym for potentially unwanted program. <laughs> Uh, That's pretty mild, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and the reason they call it a pup, because, well, for one thing, they don't want to get sued for calling it a virus. It is something that you agreed to. Oh. And probably to be a pup for real has an uninstaller. So a lot of times when you download software, Chrome would be an example. If you got it from Google, you're not going to get anything else. Google mm -hmm. offers it as a download for free. Mm -hmm with no sidecars. But if you went to a site like CNETsDownload.com or Softpedia, a lot of sites, SourceForge, which are uh, libraries of sh shareware and free software, they almost always wrap it in their own downloader for improved results. Hmm. Well, what their own downloader also does is downloads, installs, pops. Uh, in almost every case, for it to be a true pup, and I, I'm sure this is, it, it will give you, you it might be in fine print, it might go by quickly, a, a box that you can uncheck. You know, it says things like, hey, we'd also like to install the Ask Toolbar. You'd like that, right, huh? And if you if you don't pay attention and you just go, yeah, okay, I just want, I want, okay, come on, just give me the, come on, come on. You click okay, okay, okay. You're unwittingly installing a bunch of other stuff that you don't, truthfully, you don't want. I see. I'll take the P off a of pup and call it an unwanted program. It really yeah. isn't, you know, I mean, very few people want this system healer. No, I don't want that. So if I right click on that icon, am I going to get into trouble? Yeah, don't run it. No, okay. But you should go to your programs and features control yeah. panel and see okay. if you're going to install it. If it is a pup, one of the, so a couple of things that make uh, software a potentially unwanted program versus a virus versus malware. Malware installs without your knowledge and without your permission and generally doesn't include an uninstaller. It's not what it does, by the way. That's, that's not what we're talking about. It's how it acts. Uh, pups ask you, maybe in fine print, maybe surreptitiously, maybe quickly, but they do ask you so that you, in theory, have the opportunity to opt out and they are supposed to have an uninstaller that actually works. Okay. So I would first check and see... And since it is being, I'm seeing it being um, labeled in uh, lots of places as a uh, as a pup. I would guess that you can uninstall it. Okay. Another quick uh, question. I have I, when I got into my Firefox today, I got what's called a browser hijacker, which is called Casio Pesa. Oh, okay. So here's the problem: you get more than one of these, right? Yes. Now I'm worried because that's and this is why. By the way, if you search for how do I remove System Healer or Cassiopeia, if you search for those, you'll see all these people offering software that'll do that. In most cases, more pups. That's what I was afraid of. Most cases, those are not going to do what you want. <laughs> so I don't recommend, and people do this, Googling it and saying, oh, here's a remover and just running it. I don't recommend that. Okay. And the fact that you're getting more of this stuff tells me either one of two things. One... You, you, you're kind of blithely wandering the internet and an innocent 
assuming that everything is good and kind and wonderful and just downloading everything somebody offers you. You're not doing that, are you? No, I'm not. No, you're smart. You listen to the show. Right. So that means it's the second of those two alternatives, which is that you've got something on your system that is now, and this is where the real risk comes, opening your system to other stuff. Hmm. And that's why generally just removing a pup may not do the job. If it's more than a pup, if it's something that's actually uh, putting other stuff on your system, you might have some stuff that's easily removed. And the idea is you remove it and you say, ah, oh, I'm good. And you go on and then the stuff, the real stuff is sitting there hiding where you can't see it and can't remove it. Huh. And, and, you know, we don't know, doing we don't know what. It's a variety of things they do. It can be everything from as malicious as uh, uh, encrypting your documents and then asking for ransom to just using your computer for spam and popping up unwanted ads and things like that right. and there and anything in between so it can be malicious it can be less malicious but just annoying huh. um i i feel bad now because i don't know what's going on the fact that you've got two of these usually is a bad sign okay so uh i there is a program that's safe to use called Malware Bytes. Okay. But you have to get the right one because there's lots of people pretending they're Malware Bytes. It's malwarebytes.org. Okay. Uh, you can it's it's free and paid. You can try it. It's it's really an antivirus for this kind of stuff. I see. And it might remove it, and you may be okay. And chances are you are okay. But I just want to point out there's always the risk. There's stuff you don't see. Okay. And that you've removed everything, you think, and you're got, you know wandering along blithely, and you still have any number of things on there. That's why, in general, once your system has been compromised, once there's stuff on your system that you did not agree to, then the smartest path is to erase, I hate to say this, back up your data, erase the drive, and reinstall Windows from a fresh, known safe copy, like a DVD. Well, uh... I'm pretty uh, a novice at these computers, and I have no idea how to uh, well, erase the drive. And yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, and I, and that's a very draconian, extremely, and you know, lengthy, annoying process. Oh. I'm just going to tell you, it's the only way to be sure. Okay. But I feel all right in telling you, go into, start by going to your programs and features, you know, the old, what you used right. to call add remove, right. and uninstall everything you see that you don't know what it is, that you don't, you know, if you, okay. if you don't recognize it, uninstall it. Okay. Then you can, there is something that will find the worst malware. What, you said Windows 7? Yes. Okay, Microsoft offers a free antivirus for Windows 7 called... Security Essentials. You can get it at Microsoft.com slash security underscore essentials. Well, I have that. Oh, good. But That's the problem. Is an, if, it's not an, if it's not a virus, an antivirus will say, well, look, he's asking for it. I can't really tell him he can't install something he wants, so I'm just going to have to say, okay... And that's why antiviruses aren't really all that useful. You also have, because you update regularly, the Windows Malicious Removal Tool, MRT, and that's also been taking care of you. But this stuff still gets on because it's, it's in this gray area. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Yeah, uninstall everything that date is the same as System Healer. Because chances are all of that stuff got installed at the same time. 